What is up, Facebook? How are you guys doing? It's Tuesday. It's a little after 12 o'clock. It is time for the most exhilarating, electrifying, entertaining cookie show on the net right now. It is time for lunch break. Brought to you by Rectech, powered by Kingsford. It is Meat Madness Week. What does that mean? That means if it crawls, if it walks, if it swims, we're cooking it up for you this week. Without any further ado, I'm going to pass it over to our master chef, Greg Muller. I mean, nothing goes better with meat than a nice cold beer, right? T Definitely. Tap Chef into the Rockies. Why not? Hey, what's up, America? It's Chef John's lingo, you know. I mean, <laughs> appreciate you guys joining us here for another episode of Lunch Break, uh, presented by Rectech, powered by Kingsford. We have an amazing, amazing episode today. It's all about chuck roast. Yeah. Super underutilized, well valued, well marbled, umptious delicious, decadent, filling. Where's Jordan Johnson with more adjectives? That's what I'm talking about. Some meat, right? It's all about the meat. Again, super versatile piece of meat here. You guys can use everything from poor man's brisket to barbacoa, uh, the mm. ultimate Mississippi pot roast. We're going to show you a couple different ways to use that today. But before we do that, do us a favor. Go ahead and smash that share button. Three, two, one. Smash, smash it. it. That way all your friends and family out there can... Uh, you know, be a part of the rec tech lifestyle. For you know? sure. And maybe they don't have a rec tech right now. That's fine. We don't discriminate around here. Mm -mm. Okay. All we want to do is fill your inbox up with delicious, mm -hmm. delicious recipes, videos, pictures. Okay. And yeah. you can do that by jumping over to rectech.com forward slash lunch break. Put your email address in here and uh, get these recipes and content very delicately inserted into your inbox. But it is an absolute gem of a day here sure in Evans, is. Georgia. Like, it's the kind of day where you can wear, like, light khakis mm. and, like, a pullover. Yes. Or you can be, like, Chef John and rock out with, like, your thighs out right That's now. That's right. Sky's He's got out, them shorty out. shorts on, mm -hmm. working on the tan. He's hitting that elliptical hard at night, lady. Hard, everybody. I'm just telling you. Looking crisp over there. <laughs> but uh, if you guys have any uh, questions or comments, go ahead and put them in the uh, the comment section down below. My buddy Chef John over here is going to show you the love. And he's already got something for us well, today. Well, you were talking about uh, p purchasing grills. Don't we have an offer going on right now at Rectech.com? Absolutely. You can pick up an RT340, the most portable, transportable grill in our lineup. It's actually sitting right here. We're cooking on two of them today. Mm -hmm. You can get an RT340 with 220 pounds of top-of-the-line American hardwood pellets for $6.99 delivered. That's over $120 in savings. And if you don't want to go that route, maybe you want to add a 590 or a 700 or a 2500 or even an RT8850 wild side, you can add uh, 220 pounds of pellets to the, that package and save a, a ton of money there as well. Sure but, enough, Chef Greg. I mean... Just jump over to the website, check it out. Make sure you subscribe to the newsletter because we got Rec Tech Fest coming up. Mm -hmm. We have live content. Academy Week. Okay? Boom. I was wondering Super where you were going to talk about that. We got that Rec Tech Academy this week. We've got um, a bunch of our barbecue family coming in from out of town. Super excited. We're going to have Lee and Lonnie Smith with Bubba Grills coming up. Yeah, we're going to yeah. have Carrie Chastain with Hold Your Horses. Now, Carrie Chastain, people, okay, he is in the top ten. And the KCBS standings out there. That's what I'm talking about. The guy's crushing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, Mr. Hashtag I Can't Cook Chicken has won chicken <laughs> like three out of his last couple contests. The guy's on fire. We're making him teach chicken this week. That's right. He ain't getting away from it. Carrie, I'm sorry, buddy. I love you, but you're cooking chicken this weekend. That's Mostly because so I want to eat it and figure out your super secret process. That's so funny. But you know there's no super secret processes here at Rectech, okay? No smoke and mirrors. If you guys want to learn what we got going on, check out the website. We also have the Rectech Volume 1 Cookbook. Oh, yeah, Chef Greg. Episode 2, right? Mm -hmm. so it's the reprint. Um, added content. It's kind of like the uh, the director's cut. Sure. Or I like to say it's the chef's cut because we uh, put a lot more fun stuff into there. But make sure you guys check it out. Share us the love. Chef John, what do you say if we get started on these chuck Let's roasts? do it, Chef All Greg. Right. Sherpa, get on in here, Sherp. 
we've got almost six pounds of delicious USDA choice uh, chuck roast. You can see the insane amount of marbling in this meat. Okay, this is a great alternative if you're, uh, you know, a smaller family and don't want to cook a massive brisket. You can right. smoke these chuck roasts off. God, they eat so good. So good. Well, so you smoke them off the exact same way you would do a brisket, Chef Greg? Absolutely. You can cook these off just like you would a brisket. Um, the beauty of this, there's no trimming. Okay? Ooh. There's like no waste to this. I like that. Nothing but delicious flavor. And speaking of no waste, we're burning those Kingsford uh, classic blend pellets behind me, available in 20-pound bags. But you can cook those pellets down, right? And when they burn, mm -hmm. less than... In a mason jar, less than that much ash. That's right. That's just like one percent ash on a twenty-pound bag. It's like a half a cup of ash out of twenty pounds mm -hmm. of American hardwood pellets. No fillers, one hundred percent flavor. But speaking of flavor, we got that Boar's Night Out White Lightning. Man, this stuff just is stupid good. We're gonna go ahead and apply copious amounts of that on there. But it's beef, so you know we got that Ben's Heifer dust. You guys can check these out at Rectech.com and uh, get you some Ben's Heifer dust. Chef John, you got that beautiful. Moke a hand in the air. What you got? Yeah, for me, sorry. Buddy? This question's come from Michael Johnson. He says, "I live in Arizona, and the weather will be warming up very quickly soon." He said, "Are there any specific concerns when uh, using the RT590 during the summer months when no, the temperature man. gets over 100 degrees?" Not at all. Now, if if you know if it's 100 degrees outside and your grill is in direct sunlight, now Michael Johnson, I gotta know, are you the fastest man in the world? <laughs> okay, because I'm pretty sure during the '96 Olympics you were taking laps around there. Yes, the same Tom, bolt ain't got about. nothing on your 200, buddy. Mm -mm. Um, mm -mm. That'd be really cool if that was the actual Michael Johnson. It would be. Okay, Michael Johnson, if that is you, let us know. We'll come out. We'll cook with you. You know, we'll take the uh, mom on a road trip. Me and Chef John will come visit. For sure. Might take us about four days of driving to get there, but we'll, we'll make it out there. Um, now, if your grill is in direct sunlight and it's 120 degrees outside, okay, that inside of that grill is well over 120 degrees. Are you going to be able to maintain 180 degrees? Probably not. Okay, put the grill in the shade and, uh, and smoke on. But, you know, smoking temps 225, 250, 275, you're going to be just fine. I love me some chuck roast, John. Mm -hmm. What temp are we doing this at today, Chef Greg? Uh, we're going to do this at 225 today because uh, I don't know about you. I don't feel like waiting all day long. But the people have asked, okay, you know, we, we've been putting a lot of RTB3 to bullseyes in people's homes. They've got some questions, Chef John. Yeah. How can you smoke on the hottest grill on the market? Okay. We're going to teach you people because it's right. Meat Mayhem Week. That's right. Okay, and we want you guys to smoke on all of your grills, and the RTB 380 is no different. But let's go ahead and get this bad boy set up for indirect cooking. And again, the hottest pellet grill on the market gets well over 700 degrees, still features that PID controller, but again, direct fire. This grill, there's only one piece of metal between the meat and the heat, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove that cooking grate. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put a foil pan right in the bottom just okay. like that. Okay. But I'm not done there, okay? I'm going to put a beer on the bottom. Ooh. Just like that. Okay? Your favorite beer, doesn't matter. Maybe just a squash of water. Honestly, you just want a little bit of liquid. That way, if you do get any fat dripping down there, um, it's not going to, you know, collect and... All right, so good now... Tip. Good catch, Sherpa. We've got a little bit more room in between the meat and the heat. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that chuck roast. Now this is no different whether you're doing a brisket, a butt, a rack of ribs, but also don't forget if you do a lot of cooking you can see the inside of this grill those vents are pretty crusty. I like using a, uh, a wooden skewer and you can just kind of get in here and uh, clean the vents. Now okay? explain the importance of this Chef Greg. You, it's all about airflow. Okay so if your vents are plugged, what's going to happen is you're going to restrict your airflow. No different than putting a potato in like your muffler down the road. You're not going to drive that truck very long. Okay. It takes two seconds to go ahead and scrape those vents, and that way you've got really good airflow uh, in that grill. So that is your Tuesday bullseye tip. Right I love there. it, Chef Greg. So now 225, we're going to let this go um, for right about three and a half to four hours, and it's going to look delicious. And at that point, you have a couple options. And we're going to discuss those options now, really Chef, soon. Chef Greg, do you have to go back in there and add any more liquid to that 
uh, aluminum pan. No, you're going to be good for the duration of your cook. You're going to get some uh, juice to drip in there, some good sugu. Now, you could use that if you're doing maybe like a pot roast or an over-the-top chili. You can put your onions and peppers and tomatoes down in there and start to develop some good flavor. Um, now, if you're going to do a, a hotter indirect cook, I would probably check it or add more liquid if you're going to spritz or baste your meats and stuff like that. I'm not a spritzer. I'm not a baster. I might kind of mist it with some butter every now and then. But the way this is set up... Um, going to be good to go. But again, if you're doing ribs, briskets, butts, it's the best way to go that little foil pan, little juice down in there. Fantastic. Chef John, what you got, buddy? All right, this was coming from top fan Andy Kraft. He says, uh, is there an Atlanta barbecue store just online, or do they have a retail location They as do well? not. Um, I cannot divulge where they are located. If you are in and around their area, they might let you go shopping in their uh, their basement. But you gotta, <laughs> you got to reach out to them. Uh, Brian and Ellen Jarvis are fantastic. People and part of the Rec Tech family, you can check them out online at AtlantaBBQStore.com or um, give them a follow or at, at AtlantaBBQStore on Facebook and reach out. Maybe if you're in their area, they can do that for you. But check out this Chuck Rush right here, Sherpa. This one is looking really good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and smoke this bad boy off. But I guess i got to show you what, what i got in these other grills, too. So I should probably take these ones out first. All right, so let's fast forward. Okay. This way, Sherpa, wrong way. Fast forward. Wrong way. All right, 225. These have been on early, early. Look at the color yes, on uh, those. That's what you're looking for when you're talking about the color for wrapping your meats. Super, super dark mahogany deliciousness. Nice bark. That is what you want when we're talking about wrapping meats, whether it's brisket, um, butts. That's your color, people. That's what I'm talking okay. about. Haley Edwards says she's looking from the crosswalk. It says it looks delicious, hey, Chef Greg. Hey, what's up, Haley? How you doing today? She's right there. Look, Sherpa. See? <laughs> Live studio audience. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> See, we're all about the people here at RecTech, Worldwide Headquarters, in beautiful Evans, Georgia. That's right. God, I love it. Now, Chef a Greg, great day. That, is there a that, just, that just made my day. It's fantastic. <laughs> I love it. Chef Greg, Bill Doty asks, is there a difference between chuck roast and chuck pot roast cuts? So... Yes and no. So they're all cut from the chuck. Uh, the chuck roasts are typically about three inches thick. That's usually what the spec is for them. But depending on where that roast is cut, um, like your eye roasts, sometimes are a little bit leaner. Um, it's going to be a different part of the muscle, your eye round. But your chuck roasts, whether it's the you know, standard chuck roast or just the roasts, um, will all suffice for this. But let's make Chef John. Yes. You love you some Mississippi pot roast. You know I do, Chef Greg. You right, know so I do. What say you? I mean, since this is poor man's brisket. Okay. Okay, and I hate that name. Yes. Because it's not poor man's brisket. No. It's smart man's brisket. It's smart man's brisket. Okay? It's that man that maybe, you know, you're just feeding one or two people. Okay? <laughs> That's and you, right. you can take this thing to the promised land mm -hmm. without any questions. So, Chef John, let's turn one of these into Mississippi pot roast. I like that. And we'll turn one of these into some, uh, how about we turn some of these into some poor man's or smart man's. Chuck roast burn ends. Let's do it. All right. So we've got our chuck roast here smoked off. Ranch seasoning. Our people at HVR, proud members of the Kingsford and Clorox family. Super secret ingredient for Mississippi pot roast. I also love putting this ranch powder on chicken wings. Ooh, Super crispy skin. Yeah, yeah. Don't sleep on that stuff. All right. Wouldn't be a Ray Carnes recipe without beef au jus. Yeah. And you're just going right. straight in the bottom of that thing with it. I ain't fooling around, John. Okay. Okay. Some pepperoncini peppers. Juice and all. Yeah, everything. You heard it right. Now, if you wanted to spice it up and get crazy, a little, use the uh, pickled jalapenos. That's not going to suck either. Okay. Now, my secret. Okay. Onion soup mix. Ooh. Okay. This is like the, the advanced. Okay. This is the level two recipe. Just like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some foil, wrap it up super tight, and keep cooking this until it's uh, tender, maybe two hours, two and a half hours, give or take. I like it. And like during the last maybe, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, I'll peel that corner back and start to reduce that liquid down and get, get it like all good, good. That's what I'm talking about. All right, Chef Greg, i got a couple questions coming at you. This first one's from John Starjevitz. He said, uh, Chef Greg, would you spritz with butter the pastrami I'm currently smoking on his grill right now? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, John. I'd leave it alone get that, that uh, coriander crust. But now check out the interior cook space in this RT340. Mm -hmm. 
big enough for a half-size foil pan and a massive chuck roast. You can easily fit a couple chickens on there, um, large turkey, couple racks of ribs, couple butts. Man, I love that grill. All right, Joseph Carr has asked. Hey, uh, Joseph. Can you do this with a venison pot roast? Uh, venison would be a lot leaner, so um, I probably wouldn't cook it as long just because it's not going to be as uh, as fatty to cook down, but still slamming delicious. I love venison, okay? And this, um, this one's coming from Tom Taylor. Tom asks, how big of a roast for a meal for five to six people? Who? Um, I'd probably cook five pounds, so shoot for two roasts, and that way you have a little bit of leftovers. So we're going to make some burn ends here, and yes. we've got this chuck roast. Now, this is not super tender yet. We're about an internal of 170 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and cube this up, okay? Look at that. Look at that beautiful flavor. Look at that smoke ring. God. Already smells delicious. It looks absolutely delicious. I mean, John, it doesn't suck, buddy. Mm -mm, it's so I'm going to go ahead great. and cube that up. John, I can't even talk right now I'm because, like, my mouth is literally like Niagara Falls right now. That's what because I'm Because I know about. what this is going to taste like, and uh, and I'm ready, people. Yeah. So for all the people out there who want to try this recipe, Chef Greg, what do they need to do? Man, jump over to rectech.com slash lunch break. Put your email address in there. Sign up, sign up, sign up, sign up, sign up to receive our recipe uh, emails. All right, as if that wasn't ridiculous enough, again, Boar's Night Out, more of it. White Lightning, mm. available at Atlanta uh, Barbecue Store.com. A little more Ben's Heifer Dust. Okay. Squeeze butter. Yeah. Parquet. If it makes those noises, it's time for a new one. Okay, a little squeeze, a dab of do ya. And then grab a couple of your favorite barbecue sauces. Yeah. Okay, so our buddy uh, Blues Hog. Oh, yeah, just use it all. That's fine. Swine Life Barbecue, check them out at Land Barbecue Store. Proud sponsors of uh, Rec Tech Academy. Hooking up stuff with some great flavors here. Oh, yep, yep. Mm hmm. Sure. Uh, this one comes from uh, yes, Tom, barbecue sauce? Or from Dan Timlin. What's he up? asked, Does slicing across the grain matter when cubing it up? All right, so you really can't slice it across the grain because I will show you in a second. So your chuck roast is like this, right? They cut it. So the grain is actually running the short ways, okay? So if you're gonna slice it across the grain, you'd have to slice it that way. It's really hard to do. Um, so we're gonna wrap this up just like that. And like maybe an hour until these little nuggets of delicious yes, uh, are like, are perfect. Now we called an audible here. Yeah. So me and Chef John, I apologize. We're gonna eat these. Yeah, Because, we you are. know, that's just how we roll That's perfect around here. for my diet, right That's there. Okay. That's okay. But we're gonna swap it out. It's, 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 it's okay. Those are perfect for my just diet. Just spend more time on the elliptical. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna swap this off right here, because I've, you know, I've already got one done. All right, but don't be that guy that puts hot, dirty stuff yeah. on a cutting board and burn and mess up your nice cutting board. Yeah, don't do that. All right, so this was coming from Tom Taylor, Chef uh, What's up, Greg. Tom Taylor? He says, can you use ghee instead of squeeze butter? Um, ghee is going to be that clarified fat. It'll work. Uh, the milk fat in there is going to help it kind of be a little bit on the creamy side. So I would probably use either like a, a really rich whole butter, um, like a European-style butter, if you wanted to go that route. But the margarine really is the way to go. I hate to say that. It pains me, but it's the way to go. Uh, this was coming uh, from Joseph. He asked, which blues hog was that? So this was their champion's blend, which is actually a combination of a couple of their sauces. And they've got them available in these squeeze bottles. Super swanky. But, all right, enough of giving other people love. Yeah. Okay, let's give you guys some love. But before I can open this up and show you what we got in there, you got to smash that share button. All right, so do it with me now. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and share this post to all your friends and family and check it out. Three, two, one, smash, smash it. it. All right, let's uh, check this out. Now, normally you want to let this rest for like, you know, a half an hour, but look at that. Oh my goodness. Now the, goodness. the salty sweetness of those, uh, those peppers are going to get oh gosh, all up so in good. that meat, being like extra uber delicious, okay? Wow. And then it literally just like, Look at this. It just like falls on like shreds. Oh my god. Like goodness. that's what you want right there. Okay? Yes. So what I like to do, because I'm a savage animal. Savage. 
You got to okay. get the cotton gloves. All right. Okay. Because I don't do the whole barbecue claw thing. No. Like. No, no. You got to use the claws God gave you. I mean, claw is law. <laughs> I actually did get some hate from somebody the other day making fun of me for drinking white claw. Did they? They did. That's terrible. White claw. It's delicious. Is amazing. It is delicious. Okay. All right, chef. We and they didn't over pay me to say that, but they could. Will you go over time and tip one more time on the pot All right, roast. perfect. Two twenty-five. We have seasoned these chuck roasts off with some boars net out white lighting, some Ben's heifer dust. Amazing. Two twenty-five for about three and a half hours until they look like that. Just rewind it about four minutes. It'll show you because it was on that grill. We're using those Kingsford sure, no classic blend pellets. That'll show you the perfect color. Just screenshot that, okay? And that way you can look at what you're cooking and what I'm cooking and make sure it's perfect. If it looks like that, you're good to go. So right about three and a half hours, then we put it in the pan, we raft it up and let it go for like another two to three hours, okay? There's not a perfect time. It's just until it does that. That's yes. what you want. Yes. If it does that, you're done, mm -hmm. okay? Charlie's gonna come in here for a photo op. I am not burning my hands because I have these gloves on. Okay, but this is what you want. When the meat does this, Fred Flintstone said it best. Yabba dabba do. Yabba okay. Dabba do. We haven't had a Fred Flintstone reference in quite <laughs> some time. That's what I'm talking about. Chef Greg, Kevin Fuller asks. Kevin Fuller, what's up, buddy? Can I get that jacket somewhere? Um, sure. You can come down here and pry it off of me. <laughs> um, it's one of one. Okay. Now, if you've got a big chunk of fat in the middle here, just pull that out. No one wants to eat that. Um, no, one of one, man. I yeah, got a green we, one, too. But we have all kinds of amazing swag. You can check out our zip-up jackets. Um, a little too warm for that for today, especially when my hands are in volcanic lava right now. Um, you can check out our long-sleeve black tees. We've got hooded uh, sweatshirts, unhooded sweatshirts. I guess mm -hmm. it should be a regular sweatshirt. Um, we've got some T-shirts. And then, you know, if you follow us on all social media, you might know we give away themed shirts almost every show. Sure enough, too. I think maybe we we'll give one today. I was going to say, well, we should definitely give one away today, All Chef right, Greg. So we'll come up with something. If you guys want to get a, uh, a shirt you can't buy on the website, mm -mm. okay, a lunch break shirt, me and Chef John will even sign it for you. Yeah, boy. Okay. We'll figure out what we're going to do, but you got to tune in because I'm not going to tell you right now because you're going to do it. Then you're going to turn it off so you can go to the grocery store and you can buy you a chuck roast. That's right. And make this. All right. Tom Quinn asks, does the color depend on the wood pellets you use? So, uh, Tom Quinn, um, your sushi looked really good the other day. Um, no, your, your, the color, yeah, will, will be a little bit of depicting of the pellets. A lot of it has to do with the seasoning you're using. So, if your rub has more sugar in it, that'll develop color a little bit faster. Um, you know, if you're doing sugar-free rub, salt, pepper, garlic, um, it's not going to color up as red. Um, you know, hickory pellets will give you more red color than, say, you know, oak, but... You know, for me, I just let it ride and with those Kingsford pellets and what I got in the grill is what I go with. But look at this. Mm. Now, you can see that gravy has oh, literally dressed this chuck roast to the, like, utmost delicious perfection, like, known to man. Guys, like, I wish y'all could just smell the smells coming off of this pan right now. It they can. Elon Musk delicious. was here yesterday. <laughs> he was just after uh, Backyard and Beyond. Him right. and Chef John sat down. We did actually talk. And, um... They set up that 420 cam, mm -hmm. and that's going to involve uh, smell vision That's right. You guys need to get that 420 cam so y'all could get y'all smell vision Yeah. So, again, you could make tacos with this. Ooh, tacos. You could put this in your favorite uh, spaghetti sauce or make, like, I know you made your, uh, that delicious smoked beef ragu yesterday. Yes. You could have used this meat to make Ooh, that. Ooh, that would have been so good. It, John, it would not have sucked. It would not have sucked okay. at all. Now, Again, this is hotter than lava, so this is a great make-ahead meal. This is right. a great meal prep. Mm -hmm. So you can cool this down, and then, you know, maybe you've got a busy day with the kids. Just rewarm it up on the grill, put it in a pan with some foil over the top, and call it donezo. But that right there, God, John, it's been 25 minutes. Yeah. You mean to tell me we talked about how to smoke on the bullseye? Yes. We talked about all of the fantastic promotions and specials going on right now at Rectech.com? Yes, sir. We showed them where they can find these amazing, amazing recipes yep we told them we're gonna give away a shirt mm -hmm. we cooked on the hottest pellet grill on the market it sure enough did with the best fuel those kings for pellets all in 25 minutes God, i'm gonna need a nap after i'm this. telling you you're working hard today the packed full of information today chef greg all right and we showed him how to make chuck roast burn ends. Yeah, we sure enough did god hey make sure you follow us on all social media okay at chef greg muller at chef john pinnell we will show you 
what they look like when they're done in like an hour and a half. For sure. That that's a promise. Mm -hmm. That's a fact, Jack. Fact, Jack. All right, John, you want me to go ahead and make you a slider? Yes. This is my favorite way to eat these. Okay. And I did burn the roof of my mouth on some pasta earlier today, so John, I um, I'm gonna have to uh defer to you <laughs> on what these actually taste like. Okay. Because after the Little Caesars last night. Right. And uh, this morning's pasta. Frenulum. <laughs> Gone. Yeah, you put it to the test. Little Caesars and then pasta this morning, Chef. Dude, Frank. that three meat <laughs> and that pretzel crust. Have you? Okay, have, uh, I, okay I'm, I'm not even gonna ask this question because I know you haven't. Oh, uh, you guys, are, that's so funny. That cheddar cheese pretzel crust yes. pizza, dude, it's stupid good. But what's funny is this: is you are a master chef, master chef. You gotta grub out every now and then, okay? <laughs> when you're busy with the kids, you're doing stuff. You got soccer. You got all this stuff going on. You it just goes to show get. you. Yeah, it just goes to show you guys out Don't there. hate that I am very affluent <laughs> on, on the, uh, the the finer things in life like junk food. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, but like yesterday, we threw down some amazing, I mean, Ray Carnes. I mean, that guy can straight cook. Yeah, he can. He dropped off some stuff for us. He said, hey, man, cook it up for the group. What did we make? Some grilled lobster and mussel pad thai. Yeah. Talk about not, not stupid. Stupid good. It like, was it was absolutely yeah. delicious. And, and that was guys, literally made out of leftovers. Yeah, and if you guys like, followed us followed us on our personal social media, you would have seen pictures of all that deliciousness. All right, John, I'm gonna load you up here. Load me up, Chef Greg. But now they want to know if you could make a gravy out of that liquid. It, you, it already is. Look, see how thick that is, Sherp? Like, put that over some taters. That's nice and thick. So you wouldn't need to do anything to that. No. Now if you wanted to, you, you could cook it down, so put it back on the grill. And kind of just forget about it for a little while. Yeah. But, oh, Topper Harley. Now, I know I'm a savage. It's okay. Like, don't don't knock it till you try it. I'm telling you right now. Okay. Now, don't, tell Chef, don't tell Chef John what we just did. Now, would okay? cheese be appropriate? Would cheese be appropriate? You could do cheese. You could do cheese? Now, this is not, like... Approved. I'm just doing this because I wanted oh, to. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, when I eat Hawaiian rolls, yeah, it is proven, okay, that when you do this, they taste better. Okay. Okay. Well, well when in Rome, you know. Chef John, here's your towel. Thank you so, so much. So when you smush it, it's it's like water, right? Right. So when you when you reduce water down, it yeah. tastes more like water, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. That, that was joke right <laughs> so it's concentration of flavor so if i get rid of all that air it's going to taste more like a hawaiian roll yeah and it's going to soak up John, into the bun a little bit cheers to cheers Ch buddy cheers america god this is going to be so good oh mm-hmm mm. Mm. absolutely delicious mm -hmm. got a little bit of that peppery vinegary taste to it pot roast is seasoned to perfection oh my god fall apart juicy tender it really doesn't even need any cheese. No. Like, you, I'm a fan of cheese, but you don't even need it. You could, like, French dip it in there. Oh, man. So good. Uh, uh, uh. Mmm. Woo! And that blue hog on top. Good audible. You killed it. Killed it, my friend. Woo! So good, America. Uh, thank God for meat. I mean, we wouldn't be here without Meat Madness this week. Mm -mm. Because I know you guys wouldn't tune in for Vegetable Week. I know we've tried it. No one watched. Yeah, we did. We had like 50 viewers. Ugh. Well, you're killing it right now, though, Chef Greg. You got 300 people out here all tuned in. All right. So if you guys, all 300 of you, want to win something, go ahead and smash that share button. Comment down below. Hashtag this does not suck. There you go. Next week we'll announce a winner. Jody will, because I'll be doing YouTube. He'll be doing Facebook. We'll announce a winner of that lunch break shirt that you can't get. Okay. Not available in stores. You have to be right here to win it. So appreciate you guys joining us. But again, busy week here at the RecTech Worldwide Headquarters in mm -hmm. beautiful Evans. Well, beautiful, slightly pollinated Evans, Georgia. <laughs> Later on today, join us on Twitter. Chef John and Jordan are going to make an, an oldie but a goodie. Yeah. Okay. Chef John is going to put his foot in this one, and I guarantee it's not going to suck. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's going to make sure Jordan doesn't screw this one up on Twitter tweets. So join them at 4 o'clock on Twitter. And then tomorrow, the girls of RecTech barbecue we're going live they're gonna show you guys who do another delicious recipe then we got after hours which jody flanagan is chopping at the bit to make this recipe tomorrow night one of his <laughs> favorites i would say signature things to make i can't wait and you know he's on that carnivore diet right now so he's gonna go ham yeah. tomorrow night thursday 
We've got lunch break. That's going to be on YouTube, so make sure you guys uh, hit that red rectangle over there and subscribe to the channel and get that amazing content. We've also got Academy this week, so make sure you follow us on all social media so you can check out some stories, some of the latest and greatest. This Friday, we got movie night. That's right. Okay, they're showing uh, Brave. Okay, so there's actually one of the characters from the movie here. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, are there? They're going to yeah. come dressed up again? Flying, flying. Well, not dressed up. It's the, it's the girl. Oh, like, she's coming in. Flying all the way from Scotland. There we go. Okay, there might be bagpipers. I don't know. Can't stop. But those food stop. trucks will be here. It's $10 a car. BYOC, bring your own cooler. Uh, family friendly. The playground gets sanitized every Friday morning. That's right. Movie starts at 730. Gates open at 6. There you go. Come on down. But from all of us here at the worldwide headquarters of RecTech, God bless you. God bless the United States. And we'll see you at the Rec Tech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rec Tech Lifestyle. Set it. Come get it. When the sun starts going down, live your life the way you like. It's Rec Tech Lifestyle. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rec Tech Lifestyle.